Good morning. <laughs> I slept past my alarm a little bit too long today, so I guess it's time to get up. I got these little like pour over coffees from a client who she's literally the sweetest thing ever it's from the brand copper cow coffee um it doesn't even look like i drank a lot but trust me we have drank so many of these um i love the rose one it's just like basically a to-go pour over coffee so we actually took a bunch of these with us while we went on our mini honeymoon but there's so many different flavors there's classic mint um, churro, ginger, <laughs> then it comes with these little creamer packets, which I think is so cute. So I think she bought this in a kit, if I'm not mistaken, but I just think they're so cute. So I think I'm just going to have the cl classic pour over today. I don't really feel like grinding my own coffee and, you know, waiting for it to brew, so... I'm just going to do this today. I, I forgot to show this to you guys, but usually while I wait for my coffee to boil, water to boil, whatever kind of coffee I'm making for the day, um, I go ahead and take my morning supplements. So this is elderberry syrup. I take this every single day, every morning. My sister-in-law makes this herself. She has like her own little business. So I take her elderberry. Keeps me healthy. I actually love it and it tastes so good, especially when you're sick. This is like one of the best things to take. So I take this every morning to keep my immunity up. And then I also take two of my um, seed probiotics. So that's my little morning supplement game. So in the mornings, um, I generally look this great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I look so bad in the mornings. You should have seen me before I actually fix my hair. Um, anyways, today I have to work today. I have to work like later this morning. So I have time to gently wake up today and really just enjoy my morning before I start the craziness. Today is also, um, hopefully the day we find out who the president is major anxiety happening i know you guys feel it too um but anyways today's a crazy day um so i'm just gonna sit drink my coffee and chill i feel like i'm a coffee connoisseur though because actually i wish i was a coffee connoisseur but um i tend to change up my coffees every time i have coffee in the morning so sometimes i go for a cappuccino a latte an iced latte a coffee coffee a pour over um we have way too many coffee machines in this house i even have like one of these systems i don't know i just i love coffee and i love them in all forms so yeah anyways i'm gonna finish making my coffee hang out on the couch for a little bit maybe watch some youtube videos and just chill and then um we'll start getting ready for the day and we'll talk hang out and i'll give you guys some life updates
fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna show you guys my little morning skincare since this is a get ready with me. Um, ignore my hair, I'm gonna fix this later. So first, this is actually one of my favorite products lately. Um, I got it a while ago and I know I told you guys I'd give you an update and I actually really, really like this stuff. So this is the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling Eye and Brightening Balm. This stuff is like heaven in the morning, especially when I get up um, to go to my workouts at like 6.30. It feels so good. And it's got like this like shimmer reflect in it, so it keeps your eyes nice and bright. You guys can see it, it's like this like shimmery stuff, but it feels so good. So then over top of it, I go in with this Cherry Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. I got this in my BoxyCharm, but I really, really like it. It actually gives like such a hydrating effect, it feels so good. And then lastly, I just go in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This has been my OG favorite. I've used it for years. Always go back to it. It is the best. And we just apply that everywhere. Now it's time to fix the rest of this appearance. For my hair today, I'm literally just going to fix it with a little curling iron. And yes, this is one of my life updates I was going to share with you guys in today's video. Is I chopped my hair off. What do you guys think? I mean, it doesn't look great right now, but I chopped it off. It feels so good. I took off like 10 inches um, and I could not be happier. If you are contemplating cutting your hair, do it. It feels so good. Um, but literally my hair was like down to here, like just below my boobs if I straightened it and we chopped it. Um, I like to do this though every couple of years. I like to give myself a good haircut. I've never gone this crazy short before in a very long time. I, I've been short like this before, but um, it's been like five years maybe. I don't even know the exact time frame. I know it's been on YouTube where you guys have seen it um, this short, but it's been a minute and I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. And I feel so good. I feel no regret. Um, it's the greatest feeling ever. And hair's hair. It grows back. So that is one of my updates that I was going to share with you guys is that I chopped my hair off. Um, and yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, of course, let me know what you think after I fix it. Because right now we're in a bedhead, not sure what happened state, and we need to get out of it. So after I fix it, let me know what you think of it. I always prime my dry shampoos. This is like one of my tricks. By the way, this is the Way Super Dry Shampoo by, it's like a collab with this brand. I don't even know how to say it. Burrito. Never known how to say it. But anyways, I always prime my dry shampoos. Always. Just give them a couple pumps and then they're good. Whoa. Oh shoot. That's a good one. That's a goodie. If you see a lot of white, that's good to me. I'm gonna put it on my ears where it gets oily. I was using um, this dry shampoo, which I still have quite a bit left. I like it, but the smell is super, super overpowering for me, where it gives me a headache if I like have too much in. And normally, I need enough dry shampoo, so I just had to stop using this because it was way too much for me. This does have a scent, but I am familiar with whey products, so the scent isn't overpowering, and I don't feel like it's gonna last that strong and that crazy in my hair. So uh, that's already good. My trick with dry shampoo is to leave this in for like a couple seconds. Usually if you can go like 30 seconds to a minute, that is great. Um, but I usually just like to leave it in for a couple seconds and then I just brush it out. The longer you leave it in, the better. And then you won't get that white cast, okay? Everyone says they hate dry shampoo for the white cast, but there's a method behind it. You need to leave it in for a hot minute, and then you can take it out. All right, I'm just gonna run a curling iron super fast through my hair, just because I don't want it to be like super curly, but I wanna kind of fix what is going on here. Okay, a lot better, right? A lot better. If 
you're new here to my channel, I have supernatural curly hair. Um, you can find my curly hair videos here on my channel. But um, now that I have short hair, I do have to tend to style it more, no matter if I'm wearing it curly or styled specifically. I did just previously straighten it yesterday with like some like waves in it. So it did fall straight. And once it's straightened, it will not like recurl to like its full potential. But that's okay because I kind of just wanted like a bend in my hair. Um, so that's why it's not like curling, curling like crazy. But this is perfect. So next I'm just going to add some oil in my hair. My friend Nicole gifted this to me. It is so good you guys such a good hair oil it's from the brand gisu it's a honey infused hair oil um it's like really nice on the hair because it nourishes but it doesn't like it's not too heavy or it's not it's not even greasy either but i mainly just put this on my ends and then whatever is left i like run it through my hair but this is such a nice hair oil i highly recommend it so uh thank you nico for giving me this I'm going to go upstairs and get changed now and let's fix this face up just a little bit. There is a mess behind me, so just ignore it. I promise I'll clean it later, okay? Okay. I also didn't really like get dressed dressed. I just threw on a uh, big t-shirt and called it a day. Anyways, all I'm going to do since I have to go to work and I'm wearing a mask, I don't like to go crazy when it comes to wearing of makeup but what I like to do is just make myself look a little bit more awake and presentable because right now I look like I haven't slept and I look a mess so I'm taking concealer this is the Kosas concealer first and I'm just putting it right in the inner corners of my eyes and a little bit here and a little bit there and then I'm taking my all-time favorite this is the Ilia true skin serum concealer and I'm just putting this right underneath my eyes, my forehead, a little bit here. And then I'm just doing my nose area because you guys are going to be looking at me the rest of the day and my chin, but that is all. Okay. Now we're going to blend it out. I'm going to share with you guys some of the life updates that have been happening. Honestly, it's nothing crazy, but I just wanted to kind of talk about it in a video. So basically, um, first life update is I am officially officially off the market okay guys <laughs> i got married back in october because now it's november so i got married almost a month ago on october 9th uh, if you guys don't follow me on instagram i've been posting a ton of photos and i'm actually gonna do like um a story wedding photo dump where i'm just gonna literally post like a ton of photos and put it in a highlight called like a wedding album and then you guys can look at it um whenever you want to but yeah, we got married. Uh, everything went perfectly. I literally cannot complain about a single thing. Um, it went perfect. It was just a small wedding with some close family and friends that could make it. Um, if you guys don't know, I live in the state of New York. So there was, a, I mean, there still is a lot of restrictions when it comes to traveling here and some of our out of town guests, meaning mainly Steve's family and then some of my family, couldn't make it because um, there's a quarantine rule here. So if you come here, you have to quarantine for 14 days before you do anything. So that was becoming a huge issue. So any of our family and friends that were coming from out of town just voted that they wouldn't come. And then basically what we did so they could still be a part of it was we Facebook Live did the whole entire thing. So my brother's girlfriend, Lana, who was such an angel, quite honestly. Like, I don't know if I could have done a lot of things without her that day. Um, she held my phone to Facebook Live the entire ceremony. And then she also played music for us so we could walk down the aisle and have music. Um, a lot of stuff was thrown together, guys. Somehow, in some crazy way, everything came together perfectly. The vendors, the everything like the timeline everything went perfect like i couldn't have asked for a better day it was also the perfect weather day it was like 66 and sunny the entire day no rain no clouds um beautiful sunset i've already posted some photos of me in my wedding dress during sunset 
I'll post some here for you guys, but definitely check out my Instagram because I'm going to be posting a ton more photos. Um, and it literally was magical it was perfect but if you guys are getting married and you're just kind of pushing through during covid um and you have any questions let me know i'm so happy to answer any questions for you guys and help guide you through it because planning a wedding in general is not easy but planning a wedding during covid is like 10 times harder because things change every single day so if you guys have questions let me know i have a friend getting married in june and i'm in her wedding and i've been helping her a little bit because it's not easy it is so hard navigating through all of this but i highly recommend have your wedding just have your wedding do it up you know who cares at this point whoever can make it can make it but in reality it's all about you and your significant other and that's all that matters so have your wedding have your wedding that's all i have to say so yeah that's life update number one other thing is i'm putting some bronzer on this is out of the pretty vulgar nesting beach face basically it's nesting bitch face but i'm just using this color right here to bronze up and i actually really like this palette a lot it's really pretty but i'm just using a powder bronzer just to give me a little color because like i said you guys are looking at me the rest of the day <laughs> life update number two we are finally getting our house together so i think I think we're gonna possibly have a little home tour in your future to see because we've been hanging pictures now that the wedding's over with um it's a lot easier to focus more and like you know put things where we actually want things so it's been going good um hopefully i can give you guys a little home tour after that if spenny is cool with it um if you guys don't know if you're new here spenny is my husband so weird saying that <laughs> but yeah if he's cool with it um we'll do a house tour so that could be on your radar very very soon my other life update was that i cut my hair but i already showed that to you guys because i showed you guys how to do my hair so i guess that's out of the cards the other thing i just wanted to touch base with you guys on is um the fact that i've been getting a lot of messages just because i've, I've been gone from here for like three weeks or so so with the wedding and everything that was leading up to it it was like pure chaos so i really didn't have time to vlog i even brought my vlogging camera with me on my wedding day because i thought i was gonna do like behind the scenes stuff and that just did not happen at all so yeah if you're getting married time freaking flies when you're getting married and time flew and i had no time to really think at all <laughs> but um yeah anyways I brought my vlogging camera that day because I thought I was going to do behind the scenes and it just did not work out. So a lot of you have been, I've got like three or four DMs so far in like the last week of people asking if I'm ever coming back to YouTube or if like something happened. But no, it just, I literally was getting married and then jumping right back into work because we couldn't go on a honeymoon. We went on like a mini moon in Ithaca, but like we didn't really get to go on like a full fledged honeymoon that we wanted to do. So yeah, I've literally just been focused from the wedding to work. So my time has been like... I've been all over the place, but I wanted to mention to you guys because a lot of you have questions um, sometimes when I am distant from YouTube and it's honestly, I, I never like it to go past a month if I ever have to take a break for a second and it's only because I have to work. YouTube unfortunately is not my full-time gig. Um, I am a hair and makeup artist full-time, um, but I am going into more of a slower season so I am hoping that I'm going to have more time for you guys on YouTube. I already have a list I have a calendar planned out for videos. Um, there's some fun ones in there too and some makeup ones related coming up too. So of course, if you guys have any suggestions of things you wanna see, always leave them in the comments. I'm always curious what you guys wanna see, but no, I'm never gonna really leave YouTube. I will continue to try and share my life with you guys, but um, just know that it's not my full-time job. I wish it could be, cause that'd be awesome, but <laughs> it's not, so. I have to make money somewhere. Um, other thing is that a lot of you guys want to see the wedding and I did have a videographer um, but unfortunately I won't have the full video available until December. So once I get the video back I'm gonna make sure it's confirmed and then I can post it. Of course I will credit them in all aspects because they were amazing and I think everyone should hire them. Back to the makeup. I want to share this really cool product with you guys um i just picked it up like two days ago i was at the mall and i tested it out yesterday if you follow me on instagram you probably saw it on my stories but this is a new brow product this is from patrick ta's brand and this is just his brow wax i got the 
tinted formula. There's just two formulas, clear and tinted. So this is the tinted. I feel like this could work for a lot of people, um, especially blondes too, because your hairs are so light in general. I feel like it could work. So anyways, how you use this product though is, and it even says it on the back in case you ever wonder, but you have to like use a setting spray and I just go, I spray it right onto the product and then you just move it around to activate the wax on like a spoolie brush like this. And then basically you just comb it through your brows. So I want to go for like that uh, laminated effect. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Basically just pushing the brows up. So obviously I need to get my brows done, but we're going to fix this. This basically just keeps them in place. I take the other end of this and I just kind of sweep the brow hairs down a little bit. But I also do it because there's a little leftover concealer on here so it cleans up if any of that tinted wax got onto the skin. Okay? And that's basically it. And then what I think I'm going to do today is just kind of fill in any of my bald spot areas that need a little work. Okay, I'm going to do the other brow real quick and then we'll keep talking. Okay, this is the full makeup. Hair is done. I tend to flip it now that it's chopped and I don't know. I'm loving this look. I think this hair was made for me. I have to color my hair though soon, so maybe I will do a video on that. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy, but I do just need to kind of re-update the color just a little bit. Nothing crazy, like I said, but um, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Anyways, that's basically really it for my updates. I really just want to share with you guys my new haircut, basically, and talk about the wedding and let you guys know how that went because it went perfect, like I said before, and just let you guys know that I'm never gone forever. I just, sometimes life gets crazy, work gets in the way, you're planning a wedding during a pandemic, that can get in the way. So now that the chaos is over, I'm going into my slower season, I'll have more time to see you guys and spend time with you guys, but... um yeah, those are just my little updates for now. Um, I feel like that was kind of anticlimactic. So if you saw the title and you were like, ooh, what's the new life update? Nothing. Just got hitched and chopped my hair off. That's about it. <laughs> All right, it's getting late. I need to get dressed and get out the door. So let me get dressed. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick out for my outfit today. Maybe I'll even wear this t-shirt. Who knows? But I'm going to get dressed and I'll share with you guys what I'm wearing. And then... Uh, We'll go to work. All right, I'm going to share with you guys my outfit in a second. I'm just going to put some perfume on. This is like the last and final step before we leave and get out the door. And that, this perfume I'm going to wear today is Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells so good. If you know this smell, you know it smells amazing. But literally, the smallest amount is all you need gonna share with you guys what I'm wearing today. First, I'm gonna start off with my jewelry. I don't have any rings on today. I just have my wedding rings. Um, a simple like chain from Peg's Hardware. She's one of my favorites. She's also local in Buffalo, so check her out on Etsy. I'm wearing my Ellie Vale big hoops, and then I also have my Ana Luisa little baby huggy hoops on. I love these. I actually haven't taken these off since my wedding day. Like I wore them on the wedding day. I haven't taken them off since. They're amazing. So just have that on for jewelry. Then I also am wearing this like oversized t-shirt. I'll show you guys. This uh, oversized t-shirt from the brand Comfort Colors. You can find them on Amazon, but you can also get them at Hobby Lobby. And I just love it because it's just an oversized tee. This is in the size large. It just is nice and cozy. I didn't even want to tuck it in today. I kind of liked the like hanging vibe today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I also have on this new flannel jacket on. It's actually called a shacket is what they're calling it, but it's from Zara. I will link it below for you guys. I will try and link everything below for you as much as possible or like items, but got this on nice and cozy. It's not super cold today, but it's a little chilly. So this is like the perfect lightweight kind of jacket to wear. Just have some free people jeans on. They're high-waisted, but 
I don't know, I kind of liked this vibe today. And then I'm also wearing these new booties that I got from Zara as well. I wanted just like a simple pair of Chelsea boots with a little pointed toe, but a higher neck. And I thought these were perfect and I got them on sale actually. So if they're still available, I will link them for you guys below. Other thing is, I forgot to show you guys what bag I'm gonna wear today. So I'm literally just gonna wear this bag from Aldo, I think. Steve gave this to me a long time ago when uh, for Christmas or something like that. So I'm just gonna, just gonna wear this today cute and simple right that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me life update um if you guys have any questions or have any requests for future videos leave them below i am going to do one video all about my hair and how to style short hair so look forward to that that's coming very soon but thank you guys so much for watching i missed you all so much happy the chaos is over with finally and i can focus more on just work and youtube and just be all zen like so thank you guys for watching hanging out and getting ready with me this morning i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye